In today's video, we'll be exploring the topic of financial orders in the UK and answering the question, how much does it cost to get a financial order? What are matrimonial assets? First things first, let's clarify what we mean by matrimonial assets. Matrimonial assets include all the assets acquired personally or jointly during the marriage. This encompasses savings, property, investments, pension contributions, and other valuable possessions. Interestingly, assets acquired before the marriage, but during the relationship, are also considered matrimonial assets. How are matrimonial assets divided during a divorce? In an ideal scenario, a divorcing couple can decide on their own how to divide the matrimonial assets. They may choose to do this independently or with the help of mediation services. Mediation services involve a third party who assists the couple in reaching an agreement. The mediator doesn't take sides or provide legal advice, but makes suggestions to facilitate productive negotiations. Mediation often begins with a separate one-to-one -one appointments followed by a joint meeting. In cases of domestic abuse, the couple can opt for separate rooms during mediation. If mediation doesn't lead to an agreement, the couple may consider collaborative law, where lawyers from each side work together to find a resolution. However, if no agreement is reached through these methods, the division of assets will need to be decided by a judge in court. We'll revisit this option later in the video. What is a financial order in a divorce? Let's clarify what a financial order entails within the context of divorce. In most cases, a financial order refers to a consent order, but it can also refer to a financial remedy order. These orders are issued by a court during the divorce process but serve different purposes. A consent order is a court order that states how matrimonial assets will be divided based on a fair agreement made by the divorcing couple outside of court. It essentially makes their agreement legally binding. To apply for a consent order, the couple must first agree on how to divide their assets. They can seek assistance from mediation services or collaborative law to facilitate this process. Once the agreement is reached, it is put into writing as a financial statement, and the couple can draft a consent order to be signed and approved by a judge. Do you need a financial order when divorcing in the UK? You might be wondering whether it's necessary to obtain a financial order during a divorce in the UK. While you're not obligated to do so, relying solely on a financial statement document carries its own risks. Some individuals opt for a DIY divorce aiming to keep costs low by only having financial settlements. However, a financial settlement doesn't sever all financial ties once the divorce is finalised. Only a consent order achieves this. Without a consent order, either party could potentially make a claim for money or assets even after the divorce is completed. While not all claims are successful, there have been cases highlighting the risks of divorcing without a consent order. One notable example involves a woman successfully claiming a share of her ex-husband's post-divorce wealth 23 years later. Can I do a financial order without a solicitor? Now you might be wondering whether you can handle a financial order without hiring a solicitor. You need a solicitor to draft the consent order and ensure it's approved by a judge. However, it is possible to apply for the order without a solicitor if you choose to do so. Most people who apply for the consent order seek the assistance of a divorce lawyer. The lawyer will draft the consent order based on the existing agreement and handle the application to the court. Their expertise ensures that the agreement is fair and more likely to be approved minimizing delays and helping you out. In most cases, the drafting of the consent order and the application are part of a comprehensive service provided by the lawyer. Do both parties need a solicitor for the financial order? Sometimes a divorcing couple may make an amicable agreement and engage a lawyer to draft their consent order as a joint client. However, there are instances when each party employs separate lawyers to oversee the drafting of the consent order. This decision depends on the complexity of the case and the individual circumstances. How much does it cost to get a financial consent order? The cost can vary based on solicitor's fees, which can differ significantly. While the application fee itself is only £53, solicitors will charge additional fees, potentially ranging from hundreds to thousands of pounds for drafting the consent order for you and making the application on your behalf. High street solicitors generally charge more compared to online divorce packages, which are now widely available. Some online divorce services offer consent order drafting for around £300, providing a potentially more affordable alternative to a local solicitor. However, it's essential to conduct thorough research and evaluate the effectiveness and efficiency of such services before you make a decision. The good news is that financial aid is sometimes available to assist low-income individuals and those receiving benefits in obtaining a divorce. What is a financial remedy order? Apart from the consent order, there is another type of financial order known as a financial remedy order. This order is less common, but can be issued as part of divorce proceedings. 
It involves the court stating how matrimonial assets will be divided, including provisions for child maintenance and spousal maintenance, if applicable. A financial remedy order is sought when the divorcing couple cannot reach an agreement on asset division. However, before making a court application, they are required to consider mediation unless instances of domestic violence have occurred during the relationship. How does a financial remedy order work? Once a financial remedy order is applied for, the couple will attend an initial appointment where a judge becomes familiar with the case. Subsequent appointments will be scheduled to resolve the issues at hand. Ideally, these appointments will lead to a resolution. If they don't, a final hearing takes place and the judge makes a final decision on all matrimonial assets, which becomes legally binding through the financial remedy order. The entire process of obtaining a financial remedy order can take months and incur significant costs. The court fee for applying for a financial remedy order as part of your divorce is £275. However, the actual cost of the financial settlement in court can be much higher due to lawyer fees. Divorce lawyer fees can vary based on experience, location and the complexity of your case. If you require a lawyer to represent you in court, expect fees ranging in the thousands of pounds. Even with the most amicable of divorces, it can still be worthwhile to consult with a solicitor for expert advice on how to proceed. These days, there's many online solicitors that can work out cheaper and easier than meeting in person. Just Answer, for example, only costs £5 for a trial, which could be far less than a traditional in-person appointment. One of my colleagues used their service and saved over £270 on an outstanding parking ticket. I've linked that offer in the description. If you use that, you'll also be supporting Money Nerd, so thank you.